So a brand new 7.2 gigabyte update for Warzone Mobile just rolled out today with new regions, new customizations, and more. The update rolled out today, which made it available to download in two new regions, Brazil and Japan. You can now install the game by using a Brazil or Japan Google Play or iOS account. However, the servers are not live yet for those regions, but they should be very soon. The update also brought out new weapon camos, and they look sick. As you can see here, this is what the gold camo looks like in-game thanks to Dusty YouTube and you can also find the Platinum, the Polyatomic and the Orion camos in the game as well from Warzone 2. On top of that they also added new vehicle customization so you can skin up your in-game vehicles and for you gyro players, they are testing a brand new gyroscope feature in beta right now. This new update has also improved some of the graphics in the game and the optimizations making the game look a lot better, but we still have a while to go as lots of players are wondering when this game is actually playable. So far, we have had some good responses from the official Warzone mobile team on socials, where before this update rolled out, they said everything in limited release is fluid and always moving or changing, so we can't confirm much in advance at the moment. It will be less and less that way as we get closer to the worldwide global launch. So, so far the game is available in Australia, Brazil and Japan which are usually the last few regions on a mobile game before they release some kind of soft launch, making the game playable in regions like EU and NA where most of the player base is. Now on the App Store, as you can see here, it still only says coming soon and the expected date is still May 15th and that hasn't changed. However, with that only being two months away, I can imagine it will get pushed towards June or July. As for optimizations and being able to run it on old devices, this is still unknown, but looking at it so far, there's already been 20 gigabytes worth of updates and the official team said this. A player asked, could we expect iOS RAM requirements to drop down to 3 RAM after the next update? The team said, ideally, that's the big focus for us leading up to the worldwide launch. Expanding the requirements for both iOS and Android, it's a bit of a tough challenge for us so far since, as you may have seen in our first limited release, we had some more options but it caused a bunch of technical issues so now there is a lot of work being done to make sure we both expand those options and also keep it all stable and smooth so that's good news so hit a like and drop a comment down below what devices you're going to be using to play warzone mobile and this is what the new update gameplay looks like it looks sick Gas inbound. Safe zone relocated.
Friendly air strike in the AO. That's a win. Proper job.